Now with more New York City Council Speaker and Hillary Clinton supporter, Melissa Mark Viverito. Good to see you tonight. So can we just start with that because there are conflicting reports about whether the FBI is in fact divided and there's low morale as some claim and, w and whether mm -hmm. that case that Comey declined to prosecute in July was in fact prosecutable. Look, I think that uh, it's fascinating that we're seeing all of this emerge six days out, two weeks out of an important election. Mm -hmm. And we have a candidate in Donald, Donald Trump who is on the precipice, on the abyss of, of really a stunning failure. And so I believe that when you have a Hillary Clinton, when you have a Clinton foundation that has been in the public eye for many, many years, if not decades, that has disclosed every private uh, donation that has 40 years of tax records made available for include you know for transparency for everyone to see versus a candidate who hides right be behind uh, not releasing his tax forms or whose charitable quote unquote foundation uh, is a scam. Well, they may and also be getting are, investigated. The, this they is, may also be. But, but, but let me just speak to you about to that. see that this is coming out now. We you, have a, a candidate. Well, we know why. Yes. We know why Friday's news came out when it did. I mean, Director mm -hmm. Comey's office has spoken to that. They, they say they just got Anthony Weiner's computer. I mean, it all, all roots point back to Weiner. Before having a search warrant, before it, the, there any being any sort of verification, yeah, whether or not let's not condemn Director Comey's motives because Megan, we, we, on, on both yeah, the all the Democrats defended him as the the second coming back in July when he he declined to prosecute like him but this is about the other piece of the investigation which is in the Clinton Foundation and if these two sources familiar with the FBI investigation who have now spoken with Fox News are right this is a quote very high priority within the FBI there is a quote avalanche of new information coming in every day on this investigation that these two women uh, may have lost their immunity now that their devices are being exploited at this moment and that this investigation is much much more extensive these, than previously their reported. accusations and I don't believe they have foundation or merit and it is again interesting that six days out of this most important election cycle that this is coming out. When we, this conversation about the Clinton Foundation has been in the public eye for years at this point in this mm -hmm. campaign. So I, I cast a lot of doubt on this. Again, we have the most capable candidate in Hillary Clinton who has 40 years of tax records online where every donation to the Clinton Foundation, independent watchdog groups have talked about the good work. Yeah, and but the we've, level learned, we've learned some things through WikiLeaks. Uh, just in recent we will weeks. never verify the information on WikiLeaks. I know, Russia, it, Russia, they're fake, I know. But nothing has end, been specifically disputed. Well, you've, None, you've not one. You've indicated, you've also indicated, you know, you just alluded to, we have, talk, we have an uh, investigation into Trump and some of his, uh, the high-ranking members of his campaign and their links to possible Russia and, and any sort of communication. That was not disclosed. So it's inc incredibly interesting. That's his interesting. old guy, Paul Manafort, who's no longer it's with It's incredibly him. interesting that all of the information that is being leaked on the side of the FBI FBI happens to be about Clinton and nothing about Trump. Well, that it's a, will cast a little bit of doubt and concern. But that doesn't mean the investigation is not underway. Perhaps the leaking is inappropriate. But and that there's an investigation mean the underway people, for the Trump but, campaign. But the, as you well. understand as well as I do that the American people they don't want to elect somebody who might get indicted. And she's got now two tracks against well, her: well, the email investigation Megan and the Clinton Foundation. And Trump investigated on multiple tracks as well his Trump school his foundation so there may be an indictment on his end as well so this is not but again I believe that the information that has been leaked on Clinton is going to be found to be unfounded she is the most highly qualified yeah, and the most okay. transparent candidate that we transparent have. yes when you have <laughs> right, every I gotta leave it that. I don't have time to take that one yes. on but well, it's great to see you thank, thank you for you. being here